Welcome to Econ is Life. This is Tatsuaki. Um, present you presenting you um the part two of the um entire chapter costs, revenues, and profit. This is revenues. Yes, I am going to talk about revenues today. Okay, so what are revenues? Uh, in economics, we hear this word a lot in our daily lives, especially when there is news about business organizations. We hear this word very often. So, what is the actual definition of revenues in economics? Well, revenue or total revenue in this case, yeah, is、um, the total amount of money that a firm receives from selling a certain amount of a good. Or service in a given time period, total revenue (TR) can be calculated by multiplying price times、um, quantity. Yes, so this is what、um, total revenue or revenue is. Next one, average revenue. <coughs> well, AR is the total revenue that a firm receives per unit, per unit of its sales. Yeah, because it is per unit. AR can be calculated by TR divided by Q, where Q is quantity. Because TR is P times Q, AR is P times Q divided by Q, which cancels out and it becomes P price. So average revenue is actually the price. One thing to remember. The third one, marginal revenue (MR), is the extra revenue that a firm gains when it sells one more unit of a product. One more unit is the important terms here.、Um, one more unit of a product in a given time period. MR can be calculated by dividing the change in total revenue by the change of quantity. Okay, let's see some examples. I am mainly presenting you two different types of scenarios here. The first one is revenue. When price does not change with output, revenue when price does not change with output. This sounds maybe unfamiliar because this is basically saying no, like your price won't change no matter how much you produce. So your demand won't change like no matter how much you produce. Yeah. The demand is that、um, therefore infinite here, infinite, yeah. So, well, let's just see at the、um, table here, okay? Price is staying at the same level for the entire case, yeah. And quantity demanded here is actually increasing, yes. So what will happen? Is first we have total revenue here. Total revenue is price times quantity, right? Or that was quantity demanded.、Um, so five times one is five. Five times two is ten. Five times three is fifteen. Five times four twenty. Twenty five thirty. This is how it goes. Average revenue this time, yeah, is、um, TR divided by Q, which is same as price. So here it's going to be five for all. Um, throughout the table, yes. The third one, marginal revenue, again, will be the same because it is a change in total revenue divided by the change in、uh, quantity. Yes. So, total, yeah. There will be a change in total revenue, but at the same time, there will be a change of one unit, um, for quantity. Yes. And because total revenue is increasing at the constant rate,、um, increasing five units,、um, yeah. So marginal revenue will always be five. Five divided by one. Five divided by one. Yeah, that's how it goes. So now we can look at these two diagrams. Yeah, the first diagram, the top one, is showing the relationship between output and price again. Revenue when price does not change with output, yeah. So price does not change. Price stays constant, yeah. The demand is infinite here, 
yeah so this line basically stretches like um forever yeah at the same time because price and average revenue and marginal revenue are the same here it is d equals ar equals mr the second one yes um is showing the relationship between output and total revenue in dollars so if you look at this again this is pretty um, straightforward i believe because tr will increase at the constant rate yeah total revenue is indeed increasing at the constant rate 5 10 15 20 25 30 yeah so as output increases total revenue increases yeah so th again this is um heavily theoretical and very unlikely in the real um life situation i would say but i have a question this is an advanced question um i believe um the previous videos um that this v youtube video channel um uploaded um hasn't haven't um talked about this concept because this is a concept or yeah um concept from market structures another part of micro microeconomics but the question is in which market structure is this situation possible to occur so if there's anyone who knows the answer yeah um please comment below and if you do if you know this answer that's great you're knowing something um beyond what we are talking about here well let's look at the case to example here yeah so there's a huge table here but in this one i would say this is what we're more familiar with what we imagine when we talk about revenue and stuff yeah the second um, case is where revenue when price falls as output increases yeah so it is downward sloping curve it is Pretty, pretty straightforward um, quantity demand is decreases when price increases yeah and again um, recall some information from um, the um, elasticity yeah, elasticities video PD falls as output increases yeah again straight line doesn't mean PD is the same even though if the demand curve is a straight line, that doesn't mean PED is the same. It is constantly changing. Yes. So first we have um, different um, prices here. Now we have quantity demanded when the price is very high, zero quantity demanded. But as the uh, price decreases, quantity demanded also in increases. Sorry for the stop start of the video. The dogs were barking so loud, loudly outside, so I had to shut the door. But anyways, now let's look at the, the total revenue. Yeah. Here. I'm sorry. This is not five. Uh, this is actually zero. Yeah. Obviously, fifty times zero is zero. I somehow um type the wrong one but anyways 45 times to 90 40 times 460 and it goes and goes and go yeah again tr is price times quantity however yeah this one it becomes 250 but for the next one it actually decreased 20 times 12 is 240 and after that it's going to decrease and decrease and decrease and here it is zero zero interesting something that we didn't see um in the previous case how average revenue well again average revenue is the same as price and but it is not for the very first one because remember average revenue can be calculated by tr um divided by q tr here is zero q is also zero zero divided by zero no answer same for marginal revenue here. uh no never mind um so if you look at this uh for later ones yeah it follows the price 
until it's zero, you know, if um the de denominator is not zero, then zero divided by twenty is zero. Yeah. Okay. The third one, marginal revenue. Okay. Um, as you can see, we're not writing marginal the value of marginal revenue at the same column, but rather in between two columns. Yeah. Um, again, marginal revenue can be calculated by difference in TR, change in TR divided by change in quantity. Change in quantity here is always two units, always. Now let's look at let's look at this. Um, why this is forty five? Well, first, okay, total revenue is zero, and here total revenue is ninety. So the change in total revenue is ninety. Yeah, and changing um, quantity is 2. So 90 divided by 2 is 45. 45. Again, the, for the next one, the difference between 90 and 160 is 70. The difference between quantity demanded is 2 units, 35. We do this, do this, do this. Yeah, it's decreasing and it, it turns negative for on the third point. Hmm. Well, let's look at this later. PD, yeah, um, this is from the um, earlier chapter, so I'm not going to explain in depth, but if you do the calculation, it becomes like this, yeah? They're not like really nice numbers, but this is what they are. Yes, so now let's look at the actual table or the graph of um, all these mix. Yeah, so these, um, this entire huge chunk looks very complicated but it's actually not so let me explain why it becomes like this so first total revenue back to the previous slide is it started off with increasing until this point where price is 25 yeah and after um price reaches 25 it decreased yes so the reason behind um this change i would say yes is because um first it is increasing obviously as it um table shows um sh yeah but from when it reaches the maximum of total revenue of 250 it starts decreasing this is because um even though the quantity demand increases as the price decreases because the price is too small now, um, the total revenue in the end will also fall. That is what's happening here. So total, so ideally, in order to maximize revenue, um, the company shouldn't should not set a price that is too high or too low. Yeah, they have to find out the adequate price. Well, if you look at the second linear or yes straight line uh, which one should i talk first okay let's talk about ped yeah again ped from is from late um previous chapters so i'm not going to go in depth but first ped is um bigger than one before and when revenue the total revenue was increasing and this is i think pretty obvious because ped can be calculated by um, change in percentage of quantity demanded by div divided by the change in percentage of price yeah and if the um because the changing percentage change in quantity is bigger uh, than percentage change in price you know it has to increase but when the percentage change in um quantity demanded is now lower than percentage change in price, TR will fall. Yeah, so that is what's happening. And again, the ideal, I mean, the maximum point, TR maximization, I would say, happens when PED equals one, where there is a, I would say the perfect balance or um, between um, percentage change and quantity demanded and percentage change in price. So D and AR is the same. Um, again, um, as you look 
at this table other than this part price and average revenue is the same lastly of all mr marginal revenue it started um from being positive then decreased and it became eventually negative so why did this happen again um this can be um explained by looking at the nature of mr and how we calculate marginal revenue which is change in total revenue divided by change in uh quantity i believe yes now let's look at the previous table here okay come on yes if you look at the i would say the rate of increase of total revenue the difference between these two are very large and it became a bit smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller yeah now the change is um negative yes yeah, smaller than bigger than bigger than bigger than bigger so when the as the, this difference becomes closer and closer that means marginal revenue the value of marginal revenue is becoming um towards zero because the numerator the top part of um the calculation of MR is changing total revenue, right? When the change in total revenue becomes closer and closer uh, or smaller and smaller, that, be, that means um, MR is um, getting close to zero. Also, MR is actually the slope of TR cur curve. Yeah, another thing to remember if you want to. So first, if you look at the slope of the tangent of TR, it is very steep, it, but it becomes less and less steep. And when TR is maximized, the slope of the tangent is zero. That is why MR is zero. After that, it turns negative because the slope becomes negative. Yeah, but also the slope becomes more ste uh, steeper and steeper, this time in a negative value. So that is why it, be, uh, it keeps decreasing. Okay, so these are the two cases of to um, revenues that we often face in IB economics. Um, this is it for um, the revenue part. Next, um, for the next video, I'm going to explain profits. Yeah, we always mix profits and re revenues. I am going to explain, I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to explain uh, easily what's the difference between these two. I use um, these websites and these two books a lot for this video. Um, if you have any feedback, comment down below. Thank you for watching. This was revenue video um, by Katsuaki. Thank you very much and see you next time.